All right, and we're back here for another uh, try with Abzan midrange. We've played this one time here for on YouTube here. This is our third time playing the deck overall um, for our donation deck, and we've been tuning it up. So we started the deck with lots and lots and lots of removal, lots of different types of removal, and that's kind of like the point of the deck is to have the like whatever removal spells you need at the time. You need a moment of craving, you need a golden demise, you need to sell the wreckage. Like, what do you need? This deck had it. We, we're starting to kind of slowly move towards a little more traditional uh, green-black stuff. We have some more uh, explore creatures here with Jade Lights, Branch Walkers, and even a couple Wild Growth Walkers. Kind of help out the early game and be able to get towards our, our end game. We still have uh, Carnage Tyrant on the top end, which is really difficult for decks to deal with. And we got uh, a really cool card advantage package with Underrealm Lich and the Immortal Sun. Um, so those are our other kind of... Ex our other card advantage things instead of Planeswalkers. Mortal Sun is, of course, just awesome in Golgari Mirrors um, and shutting out their Vivians and stuff like that. And Under Realm Lich, if not dealt with, can really uh, make sure you get uh, the exact cards you need. It's real real good with, like, cracking treasures and everything. You get those extra draws, draw triggers. So we have a little bit more ways to win the game than what we had before, so that's looking pretty good. So... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and try out some Abzan midrange. Save. Hawkeye, you in the way. Yeah, Multani. I mean, it's a it's a huge it. Multani is a huge creature, but I just don't think it's a very strong card. Um, even though it's a, a big creature, it's very easy to deal with big creatures. Gaia's Blessing to prevent decking in the sideboard. This this deck does turn through a lot of cards, but I wasn't as I wasn't too concerned about decking the last time we played the deck. So I don't think we really necessarily need it. Um, let's go ahead and start with an Overgrown Tomb here. Yeah, and and yeah, that's definitely the thing is if Lich is in play, we're not going to deck. But against decks that we will mill out against, they will likely have ways to deal with Under Elm Lich, of course. I really like hitting the land drop there. So it looks like we're playing against Boros Aggro, where Finality will likely be uh, an amazing card for us. So we just want to get to six mana here. So with Jade Light Ranger, when I explore, and with that Branch Walker, anything that's not a land, <clears throat> I'm putting over to the graveyard. Skyline Scout and Boros Skill Gates. It looks like this may be a, a budget version of... Boros. Still doing bruise? Absolutely. We're gonna have Thousand Year Storm after this. Of course we're playing Abzan. We got Golgari aggro lands later. Narcom even needs love though, huh? I don't really have any good Narc Amoeba brews. And so I'm, I'm not casting Under Realm Lich because um, I want to cast Finality first. Yeah, it's going to be... <clears throat> I don't have a a great idea of how to utilize that. Oh wait, Under Elm Lich, because it's three toughness. We'd be able to
We'd still be able to sur have Under Armour Lich survive. Duh. Yeah, it can, it can survive. Swift Blade Vindicator is a very scary card, and I'm just. I'm just exiling that. Go, Dombringer, go! And if I just played the Under Realm Lich first, how many costs is this? If I just played that first, could have just not drawn all those lands, land after land after land after land. That that was certainly my fault of just forgetting that finality was not going to kill. my creature. Good thing we have a lot of good things to bring in against aggro. A lot of our sideboard is kind of built towards aggro. So we have we have a lot of good things here. Um Yeah and Lich and Carnage Tyrant are out and the Immortal Sun. And that's sixty one we need uh, one more card to take out. Maybe a binding. I think it's probably a binding. Yeah, maybe just a Night of Autumn. Night of Autumn's just as, you know, destroy their enchantment. I mean... If it's a normal Boros deck, I'm assuming they're playing History Banalia. We don't know if they have they'll have History Banalia or not. If the Landware Elves help us uh, get to our other things and cast them, but I guess if we have Golden Demise in our deck, yeah, maybe we get rid of it because of Golden Demise. Is Cast Down also not good? We saw lots of Legendaries. No kills Vindicator. All right. Hey, Dirk. Now we need our card advantage, so I want I want treasure map. What is this hand? So we get a scry, and we could have Wild Growth Walker and a Jade Light Ranger. One one land, and we have you know like treasure map also, treasure map Wild Growth Walker. Like we're okay if we get one land. Our opponent's on six also. I'm gonna keep this. If we saw how many lands we had the last game. Shouldn't be that hard to draw one, right? I don't have any, no bruise with Golden Guardian. Oh, come on, deck. Hawkeye, you need to focus on getting us a land here. Yeah, over here, we need a land. Perfect, good job, Hawkeye. Yeah, I'm gonna put you down. They're trying to eat my kiwi. Now it's what two drop do we want to play? Wild Growth Walker or Druid of the Cowl? I 
Um, I think it's Druid. That's a problem. That card's a problem. Alright, so I'll be able to like block plus moment of craving this Ajani's Pride Mate. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We gotta try not to draw lands anymore. Getting upkeep stop. Yeah, we're back in it. Thanks, Papa Jack. Glad you like that combat trick. We are back in it now. Can get another one of those golden demises. Yeah, they're playing GR and Sealed, but they got us the first game. And they know about the cast down in our hand. Because it was explored to the top with Jade Light Ranger. I don't think I want to just let them... Yeah, I mean, we're just going to trade one for one. With these treasure maps, all that's all we want to do is make sure we trade one for one. I'm not going to contempt the banneret, though. The druid of the cowl can block the banneret. I guess I could contempt the banneret now. Or I could just take four. I should probably just contempt it because it'll it'll put more counters on these things. <laughs> uh, I do, no, I, I do not think wilderness reclamation will break standard. I think it will be very good and see play, but I don't think it's gonna break standard or anything. Standard's gonna be pretty powerful. Is a, a decent amount of enchantment hate, but I mean it's a it's a good card, but it's not. Yeah, I mean it's a good card, but I mean experimental frenzy is completely ridiculous as well. Like, is the card better than experimental frenzy? Uh, I'm not so sure about that.
Yeah, I mean, that's... Standard does get more powerful with every set. Um, you know, like, just the more sets you have in in a format, the more powerful it will be. Because just the more... Uh, you know, just the more cards you have, the more powerful it will be. Just kind of in general. So, yeah, we're at... We're at the like the the least strong point of 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 standard right now, with only five sets in standard. I should have cracked this treasure cove during my turn because I could have hit a land drop potentially here. I don't want a land drop, but yeah, I would have just drawn that land. We have this game pretty well under wraps. I don't really need to play Tristani right now. I'll just keep treasure mapping. What do you think of the power level spoilers? Is a question. And it continues on with I don't think there is yet cards like Niv Mizzet, Frenzy, Steamkin, or even straightforward like Arc Light Phoenix. Well to be fair, basically everybody missed Arc Light Phoenix during preview season. Like nobody was talking about that card at all. For a while. Like it didn't show up at all like the first weeks of the format. Um but we'll see. But you're right. There, even with like wilderness reclamation and electro dominance, those certainly seem like the two most powerful cards so far. Um, but even with those, it doesn't look um, it doesn't look to be quite on the power level of Guilds of Ravnica. I don't think. Just kind of overall for like everything but there's still lots of lots of cards left I like this I really like the set though upkeep scry we have <clears throat> we have we have the treasure cove also where we can see what we can see what our card is and then scry and then draw because we, we're still going to be able to scry before drawing but we can kind of even get it we can get even more information after our first draw so i want I want to, um... Alright, so I think my, my plan is to not cast anything. I want to Memorial the Folly back Jade Light Ranger before I play Wild Growth Walker. Just being, like, real careful. Like, we just basically can't lose this game. Yeah, I'm liking how Rakdos is looking too. Rakdos looks real good. Okay, we're <clears throat> going to game three. And I like where we're at. What's a good replacement for Mox Opal and modern KCI? Oh man, I don't I don't think you can play that deck without Mox Opal. 
Or, I mean, you can, it's just gonna be so, so much weaker. Uh, there's just not, there's not a card that does anything similar to Mox Opal at all. Mox, that's why Mox Opal is just so expensive. Gotta have those for, like, all those artifact decks. Hmm. I'm gonna keep his Golden Demise. On deck. Let's get that one more mana for Golden Demise, because they play Tajik here. Yep, come on. Let's get this untapped mana, please. We got three draw steps towards an untapped mana for Golden Demise. Can we get there? Come on. Alright. We got there. Whew. Alright. So we can uh, cast down that. Could also just binding it with that planes draw. I'll just go ahead and binding it. We got another binding also. Just kind of. Do I want to binding this? Okay. I could definitely see them having another skylight, sky knight legionnaire in hand. Like I kind of feel like they're gonna have another one in hand. I think they're gonna have another one in hand. So I'm going Binding. Alright, and here we'll have Treasure Map cast down. I could also just wait and see if we can Finality. I can just take a hit for two. See if we can potentially Finality the next turn. Nope. Not gonna do it. Them having all sorts of haste things. I don't want to do it. What are they holding? Skylight, Sky Knight Legionnaire. Told you. Told you they had that, in that card. They had another one of those. Ugh. Or Intervention. It's a good draw. Remember the upkeep scry now. Alright, certainly have to make sure we don't die. We're going to take five here. Just getting the other treasure maps actually probably that's probably not worth it. Uh, another reinforcements or Tajik or anything like that. Alright, so we gotta keep settle up even though it cost all of our treasures. We gotta keep it up. It's better than dying. Oh, burn spell, come on. Ah, those burn spells. Well, I shouldn't have lost game one. I definitely shouldn't have lost game one. That game three, I liked I liked what I did there, that game three. You know, we just kind of got beaten down by a whole bunch of haste things. You know, we have we had the all sorcery sp speed removal. I guess one thing I could have done differently there was whoops. 
was not cast down the the two two. The pride mate. I could have maybe just um Does Ixalon's binding that? Did I have the mana to Ixalon's binding that? No, because I played it I played another I played treasure map that turn also. See if I could have like kept my one instant speed removal spell with that cast down. Yeah, just all the hasty stuff got us. It's, it's really the game one. The game one I should have won. I just blanked on um, the 4-3 still staying alive. I forgot that the 4-3 was going to stay alive through uh, finality. That was my fault. Alright, so our opponent has a Sorceress Wand in play, and I have no idea what this card does. One mana, equip three, equip creature has tap. This creature deals one damage to target player or planeswalker if it was a wizard. If this creature is a wizard, deals two damage to target player or planeswalker instead. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so combos with untapping a creature, huh? For infinite damage. Hmm. It's a one three. Yeah, they're gonna be able to shoot my Merfolk Branchwalker. <laughs> yeah, maybe I, maybe I just am in the sealed deck bracket. I think finality is going to be an important card for us to cast. But I probably want to cast Moment of Craving here. I think they're likely going to have a counter spell here. And I'd rather Moment of Craving get countered than Dawnbringer get countered. So going to uh, gonna just cry on upkeep even though that means we're not playing Dawnbringer for sure So I'm casting this on their upkeep. So if they want to counter it, they're gonna to have to use their mana right now. Yeah, good call. Upkeep stop went away, good call. I think I want to just play Finality over Dawnbringer, I think, here. Alright, let's, let's cast Finality.
Okay. Got their, those things out of there. So we just gotta deal with four cards from them. Tempest Gin, that dies to finality. For now. Don't put a curious obsession on it. Make it a make it larger. I kinda wanna cast Dawnbringer. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the wand is for either. Nah, casting this. So looks like, kind of like mono blue aggro. You know, like they got some of the cards. They got Storm Tamer, Counter Magic, Curious Obsession, Tempest Gin. That thing's big. That thing's big. Tyrant or Dombringer? Hmm. Dombringer, we get to draw a card. We can like draw a card, play Dawnbringer, or we can just Carnage Tyrant. I think I'm gonna draw a card and Dawnbringer. Yep. Unless it's a land, then Tyrant. I think I like drawing the card though. Ugh. All right, Carnage Tyrant, do your thing. We'll... We will barely have the winning clock here, unless they play a wizard. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Thank you so much for the resub there, second month in a row. And I really do appreciate the kind words. Yeah, should've just gone Carnage Tyrant. But... Unless they can... Unless they got Curious Obsession here. Thankfully they did not have a Wizard the last turn. Yeah, they may have like Sleep or River's Rebuke or something like that. No, Wand's not plus anything. <laughs> Please don't have sleep. Dwindle? Give their creature a minus six, minus zero. That would have been good on a Lyra. Hey, what's up, noob? Hmm. How do we want a sideboard here? We've certainly seen creatures that fungal infection kills. Seeing creatures that cast down kills. I do like cast down, for sure. Don't think I need Golden Demise. The problem with Playcrafter is they have like some other smaller creatures and stuff also. You know, like, we had a couple finalities that cleared the board. They have some not so great creatures. I think I went duress with them having counter magic. Hmm. 
I'm gonna take out Immortal Sun. Put in some duresses. <laughs> Need night so I can destroy the funky wand. again. Okay. Wildgrowth well, Walker, you know, gets to gain three life and become a two four. But honestly, I think I want other things. Um, you know, I'd like white mana. I'd like just other removal spells, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Our opponent had some equipment that was like a wand <clears throat> last game. And I, I led with the Overgrown Tomb so I could go with so I could go with Woodland Cemetery there and not have to shock. If I if I lead with Moral to Folly, I have to shock turn two. And life total could certainly be an important resource. I feel like I can just find a place to play this Moral to Folly at some point in the game. Where I don't want to shock. Alright, so our opponent definitely has a counter spell. If I play Jade Light, it's going to get countered. Duress gets countered. I think I, I wait a turn until I can Duress plus Jade Light. I'm going to just make them waste their mana. And we'll, we'll still have Cast Down available. So they just w waste those th that three mana. I think it's pretty easy just to throw a spell out there, but I think that's it plays into our opponent's hand of what they want us to do. Do they have no lands or okay? They're attacking. Oh really? Saw cake this summer? Okay, I didn't know they were still touring. Storm Tamer counters duress. Alright, sabotage, cover up, entrancing melody. Blink of an eye dwindle. Entrancing melody is probably the worst one for us. Sabotage cover up. I can play around sabotage cover up. If we play Wild Growth Walker, we're just not going to be able to resolve the Jade Light. I really want Jade Light to resolve. So let's go ahead and play our land and play it. That's good. Get a draw two. I'll take that. Now to play around counter magic. Fast turn. And also we know that like Wild Growth Walker wasn't as important to get on the battlefield anyway just because of Blink of an Eye as well. Patient. See if they want to spend mana. 
to save this thing. All right, well now we know. Now we definitely get to resolve Wild Growth Walker Daylight Ranger. I'm going to go ahead and attack in. I don't mind that they kill one of these creatures. So I'm... Okay. It's preferring it to be Jade Light Ranger because of Memorial to Folly. So we may not have anything else to do. I may need to get this Jade Light Ranger back. Yeah, they save their 3-1, but, you know, like, they're trying to keep... If they don't counter that, then I'm hitting them for 4 damage a turn with the 2-2-1s. Two, two Come on, deck. Help me out here. And they do have Blink of an Eye, which they... They may kick this Blink of an Eye to bounce the Wild Growth Walker. Playing it not kicked? What do you want to do with the extra mana? They have Essence Scatter. I don't really care if Wild Growth Walker gets Essence Scattered. I'd much rather that get Essence Scattered than Daylight Ranger. But testing them out. I mean, ideally, we'd find some other creature we could play where we wouldn't need to just use this Memorial Volley right away, but... Not looking like that. Maybe we can get the Devious cover-up out of their hand here? I mean, Cellar Wreckage is not very good for us. They have Storm Tamer that can counter it, but... I could see my opponent using their devious cover up here and tapping out and then like us either being able to draw something sweet or at least crack Memorial of Folly Jade Light. Yep. Our opponent used their devious cover up. So I'm happy about that. That was not even a good settle the wreckage. Let's get another Jade Light. Alright, deck. Get some spells here. Yeah, we're, we're winning this race with just three twos. <laughs> we're winning this race with just some three twos. Yeah, this deck does sure like giving us lands, huh? Hey, Zer. Wall of Mist. It's a hard one to get through. Uh, J Light's been dwindled. We're not winning this race anymore. Alright, they're tapped out. There we go. Good thing they're tapped out so we can get to resolve Carnage Tyrant. It's not very often you get to see a resolved Carnage Tyrant. That card usually gets countered. So there we go. Now Carnage Tyrant can end the game for us. Yeah, that is true. When Wall of when a little bit ago Wall of Miss had the summoning sickness, so it really did look like Miss with like that that circle, that summoning the summoning sick circle. That's a good point. So they had Switcheroo. Man, if they would have switched, if I would have had like a Lyra Dawnbringer in play and they Switcheroo'd it, 
That would have been upsetting. I don't remember exactly which of these lands our opponent knows about from Jade Light Ranger, so I'm just going to start playing the lands on, on the left, because they probably know those ones. That I could see them adding foil cards in Arena in the future. That's nothing they have right now, but I could certainly see that being a thing in the future. Yeah, that, that was a pretty pointless switcheroo. Like, the Wall of Mist would have blocked that thing better. But, like, the... Like, the, the two creatures just stare at each other. Okay. We'll just have to attack for lethal. They get to kill my Carnage Tyrant, though. Okay. One and one. Didn't mess up any games there. Let's see if we play... Oh, we didn't get to see the card! Why didn't it show me the card? It was a rare. We got some kind of rare there. Yeah, if they did not switch a Rue, I guess, well, we would have had the 3-2. So if they didn't switch a Rue, they could have blocked with the 0-5 and the 1-3. And I kill the 0-5. And then they play that. And they kill Carnage Tyrant. And I just have the 3-2. And then the 1-3 the and the 1-1 one, one kill the 3-2. Yeah, they honestly could still be alive. Like, like, the board would have traded off if they didn't cast Switcheroo. Yeah, that's why... Yep, nice of me to, to cast Contempt and let them counter for their blue spell mission. Yeah. Yeah, we got these treasure maps. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I have to be a little more patient. I clicked too, too eagerly. The opponent with a fast start. Green red monsters. Green red dinos. Good hand. I'm just going to draw my card and see if I get to Jade Light. Naya Dinos. Do not get to Jade Light. But we got Wild Growth Walker. It's a likely Lava Coil here. But maybe they have Registore Alpha. Stomp. Green mana. Not green mana. So up keeps crying, looking for this other green mana. Not green mana, but I'm gonna keep it. It'll kill Bronte. I think that's probably worth it. We're killing that thing now. They had a good hand. I'm glad they're not killing my treasure map. I guess that would, that would cost their creature. All 
All right, Dawnbringer, I'm going to need you to take this home. We are in a rough spot here. We cannot afford a removal spell for the opponent. If only that Bronson was still a 3 4, we'd be able to finality. Okay. That's good. Let's die to finality. I need land to the contempt. I need land. Alright, we can probably say no Carnage Tyrant. For right now. Um. Alright, so I attack for five and then finality. And this will, I don't know, tap some mana. Did I not just crack the treasure? I just cracked the treasure. Like, what happened to the treasure mana? What happened to the treasure mana? I used it in combat. Oh. Well, thanks. Thanks, deck. I don't think I can stay alive then, can I? No, I can't. Huh. Well, I couldn't cast Finality. I could only cast one creature. I couldn't get more than one creature on the battlefield because I only had one green mana. All my creatures cost green. And so no matter what one creature I play and block a four power thing, I'm dying. Uh, bleh. Oh, it's taking eight? Hmm. Alright, we're playing against dinos. Let's get Playcrafter in here. Cast down, absolutely. Fungal Infection, really good against Land War Elf. Not good against other things. No, I think... Yeah, so 4 plus 3 plus 1. So I just added up, in me being frustrated, I just added up the 4, 4, and 3 for 11. But we were blocking a 4. So I thought that with blocking a 4, we were taking 11, but we were taking 8, not 11. But any haste thing killed me, but I could have still maybe been in that. Yeah, it was just disappointing there. Alright, so let's take out Goldemise. So do I want do I want Fungal Infection against basically just Land War Elf? I think that's the big question. Fungal Infection is very good with my Plague Crafter. I think I do want it. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it in. Um, Mortal Sun coming on out. We're just playing against all sorts of aggro decks. Let's get Tristani in here. So we're just taking out Underrealm Lich and Immortal Sun against everybody because we're just playing against aggro, like all aggro decks. Yeah, frustration really got me there. I just popped it when I was transitioning to the next phase, so I just removed it. Alright, treasure map. 
do some work for us. Yeah, I tried to hit Z to undo the treasure. I hit Z a bunch. It didn't work. Okay, well, this is going good for us. I do like how Magic Online, when you have mana in your pool and you're leaving the step, how Magic Online tells you, hey, wait, you're leaving the step with mana in the pool, are you sure? And so that that kind of stuff could just be fixed. And it's like, like that just doesn't need to happen kind of thing. All right, Land of War Elf, attack in. Next turn, we get Carnage Tyrant. And our opponent's, you know, a little bit behind, so that's certainly good for us. I like where we're at this game. I may use the cast down on that ranging raptors to keep them from getting more land. Um, especially if they don't play another land yet again. Yeah. Okay, well, they get a land with the Savage Stomp. Certainly be greedy not keeping that. But I think we're in a, a good spot to be greedy. I don't think this game is going to necessarily go that much longer. And we don't really need a, a Jade Light Ranger. Because I wasn't planning on casting the Jade Light Ranger this turn. Um, so we're planning on doing that for this turn. So then I don't really need to cast a Jade Light Ranger this next turn, right? So that's why I just put it to the bottom. Like something else that really helps us on this game. Okay, let's get game three. Let's sideboard. Fungal, cast down, play crafter, play crafter, Tristani, take out, sun, sun, lich, lich, um, demise. And then if they're playing, they're playing the one, two also, hunt map to Otepic hunt master. Maybe Moment of Craving is better than Fungal, but I do like Fungal on the draw. I could see just playing two, two Moment of Craving then to be able to make sure to kill Huntmaster as well. Um, now, keep it like this. I'm going to keep it like this. It would have stayed and let you press Z if you had an instant in your hand. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's keep. So, do I want to shock turn two to be able to play Druid of the Cowl? My poor opponent. They're going down to three. They only had five cards last game, and now they're at three. Poor opponent. But we'll take the win.
Like they're just a two color deck, so I, you know they must have had some real bad mana troubles there, mana issues. You, you know it's not like color wise. Oh, looks like Selesnia Control Lands is ready to go up on YouTube, so I am typing out that uh, um, des title, description, all that kind of stuff. Okay, we're going to start over with a new match here. We're going to be 2-1. and one. Let me get the... Where's the deck list for Selesnya Control Lands? Match the other arena. All right, and it's up. So yeah, our, our opponent just exited. It looks like. Yeah, I think they're away from keys. Ugh. Yep. They don't have any, any more, you know, timeouts or anything. Like so, whenever this goes down, it, it'll be the game. So, you're getting a chest tattoo in two months. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I think when you're at when you're at four cards, I think you just kind of have to keep four cards. It's so hard to mull four cards, like no matter what the four cards are. But you get to a point there where you just kind of have to keep. All right, let's bust it back open. Busting the pack open. Deafening Clarion. That's not a card we're going to be casting today. Kind of reset in here. We're busting that pack open. You finally got to open the vault? Nice. Good job. It gets easier and easier to open the vault. Because as your collection grows, uh, the more extra copies you get of stuff. And so the more you open the vault. Um, yeah. So we have, so we're gonna have Ravnica Allegiance out on, on Arena on the 17th. On Friday 11th, we should have the full set up, and so I think that's when I think Friday the 11th I'm gonna do a full set review. Um, that's gonna be my stream on on the 11th. We're gonna go through each color, um, go through all the cards. We'll you know make the make it. Six parts for YouTube, one for each color and then multicolor. Um, let's see. Multicolor, colorless, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so if you'd like to if you like to join us with for that, like to interact with talking about talking all through all the new cards and everything, um, that's on the eleventh. Um, next Friday. That's that's what uh we'll be doing there. The sets rotating out in autumn will be everything except for Guilds of Ravnica that's currently on Arena. Everything else. Yeah, we'll be recording it for YouTube. Yep, and we'll be putting it up on YouTube. Um, absolutely.
so that'd be pretty fun. My YouTube channel, of course, is youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Yeah, you can find my music playlist here. Um, all right, that resolved. So I'm expecting like the four mana draw two as a card here. Um, we are going to need another land. I think it's kind of likely we find another one, though. I want, like, one more land, but I don't want any more after that. Oh, I did not have an upkeep stop. Well, then. I would have much rather drawn that Overgrown Tomb than that Wild Growth Walker. I like flipping that thing. Getting, uh, getting that thing transformed before they can destroy it, or something happened to it. There's not a whole lot of instant speed artifact and enchantment removal. Game one, of course. I'll just take that. Alright, they're gonna settle the wreckage. Oh, I need to start doing that upkeep stop. Let's see if they have settled the wreckage. Okay. So we got a game. Let's. Alright, oh, I have to actually go to the next phase. I wanna make sure I don't don't use the treasure cove here. Because then I want to be able to activate Treasure Cove. Ugh. Well, we got those cards out of here. That's good. I really don't mind paying life against my opponent's deck. I was thinking like maybe they had like seal away also. Yeah, fine's better than a random card. And get back Wild Growth Walker, Merfolk Branch Walker. Um It's not better than treasure map though. So I do have to worry about milling myself. Ow. Do need to win the game. So we'll take Dawnbringer and Branch Walker. That's unfortunate. Yeah, as long as Lich is in play, we won't we won't get decked. Down, 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 down. I should probably just flip the treasure. No, if I flip the treasure map, I have to use a treasure. These treasures could be very valuable here.
I would let my opponent scry four at the start of every game if they meant they had to keep five. That's a pretty fair trade-off. All right, return target instant, so they get all the wreckage back. I don't really have a way to interact with Settle the Wreckage. That's a good one. Attacking for 13 to put him down to 2. And so now the Land War Elf by itself is lethal. We could like just attack with Land War Elf if we wanted to. They have a Lava Coil they're able to get back. We could like force the Settle or force them to have some other instant speed removal spell with just Lava Coil if we would like. Teferi. Well, they have to draw. This isn't a fight you can win. They can't mine us. Oh wait, that doesn't even do anything because Immortal Sun. Yeah, so they can't even... They can't do anything. The Immortal Sun! Getting it done, son! Immortal Sun... Alright. Underrealm Lich. Real strong there. Those are the matchups that it's for. Let's get more Find Finality. Play Crafters. Duresses. And cast down. Moment of craving. Golden demise. So, settle the wreckage. All right, how are we doing on cards? Sixty-four. Take. How am I feeling about binding and contempt? Probably like them. So Dawnbringer Walker. Looks like. Looks good to me. It feels like every green deck should just be playing. Should be running three card of tyrants in the full Wild Growth Explorer package. It's just so OP. Last standard season, nobody played the Wild Growth Walker package at all. Some people played the Explore Creatures some. The Explore Creatures were... There's a couple Soul Tide decks with, like, Scarab God with Explore Creatures. Nobody had Wild Growth Walker. And Mono Red is the most popular deck, and Wild Growth Walker wasn't very good. There are so many lightning strikes and abrades everywhere. It was just too hard to try to play it. And the red decks weren't like necessarily like gain three life wasn't being the red decks because Hazard would just just keep coming at you and just kill you. It didn't really matter your life total, Hazard, Chandra, stuff like that. So what I'm kind of saying is, I guess what I'm what I'm kind of saying is, even though right now currently the explore package is very good i wouldn't be too too worried about like the explore package just like these explore creatures just like owning standard for the for the foreseeable future when we're getting a new set here and even like another new set after that i could certainly see there being better things in the format to be doing than playing wild growth walker j light ranger stuff like that well j light ranger still gonna be there but but Wild Growth Walker in particular. So I wouldn't worry too much about getting sick and tired of explore, explore, explore all the time. Jade's gonna be good. Yeah, Jade's always good. Like Jade, Jade just fits in a lot of different decks. Why am I oh keep scrying? I already know my card and I'm I already know I'm keeping it.
Well, you'd have to you have to build your mid range Abzan deck around Militia Bugler if you want four of them in the deck. You certainly need to build your your deck around it. So I feel if I play Jaylight Ranger, our opponent can just Deafening Clarion them away. But I guess if they do, we have... You know they Deafening Clarion, we got Fine Finality to get them back. Gonna find black mana anywhere? Nope. Okay. Let's see what you got, opponent. Dawnbringer, Dawnbringer. That is the perfect number of Dawnbringers for the six Alons binding. The perfect number of Dawnbringers. I don't think I really want to use... I could find Finality, get back Jade Light, play it, use a treasure. I don't think I really need to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and explore first. Yeah, Deckmaster should be working. If Deckmaster is not working for you, then... Um, refresh your stream. You can't see the vault um, uh, in Arena. You have to check your log files in your computer to find the vault, your vault percentage. You could also sign up for MTGA Tracker. Um, I think it's mtgatracker.pro. Um, I haven't used it myself. I've heard good things about it. And it tells you your vault percentage and tells you like your collection percentage and all sorts of stuff. And it tells you... All sorts of stuff about like your win rates and things like that. Why yard duress there? I already know that they just have a bunch of angels in their hand. And I'd, I'd rather just have a threat to help end the game. Still just the Jade Light in there for Fine Finality. Alright, now we're in huge trouble. Now we're in huge trouble. Might as well see if they have a Settle the Wreckage. So yeah, even if they gain 5 life, we'll still have Lethal attacking back unless they have a Settle the Wreckage. Yeah, Druid of the Cowl is a, a fine magic card. Yeah, Sell the Wreckage beats us. I mean, I guess even just a, just a seal away. But, you know, they only have one card we don't know about. So let's settle there. Man, that's unfortunate. And then the binding for my binding. And then the settle. Hmm.
Let's have Dawnbringer for their Dawnbringer. I'll get rid of one of these fines. They exile so many things. I don't need all these fine finalities. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I'll revisit Team of Ramp when Allegiance drops. Um, Team of Ramp may just completely change with Wilderness Reclamation and um, Electro Dominance. I don't really have better things to put in my deck than the other over the other finalities. They still counter. They still counter a lot of things. Fine finality can still do its thing. It's good with Playcrafter too. But I don't have better cards in my deck to put in. <clears throat> oh yeah, Knight of Autumn could could go in. Yeah, Knight of Autumn. That's Knight of Autumn's perfectly fair. Yeah, that that could definitely go in. Plan is just kind of use these explore creatures to find lands, hit our land drops, put some pressure on them. Um, whenever they tap out to deal with Jade Light Ranger or Merfolk Branch Walker, then we can resolve Immortal Sun. That's kind of the plan. Unless it's this turn, unless they just. Um, settle the wreckage, these two. I'm certainly attacking with both of them. Clarion. Alright, let's look for a land. I want to play Carnage Tyrant. There we go. I think I want to play Carnage Tyrant here. I don't really want a Moral Sun to get negated. So let's let's get Carnage Tyrant in play. Upkeep stop. Just in case. The real question is, should I attack? I just, I'll just draw. Ooh, that's good. Hmm. I kind of want Duress to protect the Immortal Sun. So I kind of want to have 7 mana and be able to Duress and Immortal Sun. Um, so I'm certainly considering just casting fine and getting these creatures back. Um, fine to get those two back, play Jade Light, hold up treasure map for a turn. No, I'm, I'm just going to duress. Branch Walker because I still want to still want to scry with treasure map. I think I pass. Hey. 
Hey, Eddie. Oh, I did. I just didn't even scry with treasure map on end step or on my turn. Did even scry? Best feeling is being off work and starting my weekend and starting off with with uh, magic streams. Awesome. Yep, I'm glad you're here, Eddie. All right. I'm not gonna forget to treasure map this time. I'll keep stop. We got there. Dawnbringer. All right, so now now we're in a great spot here, where I get to Carnage Tyrant. They settle the wreckage, it, and then we get to resolve the Immortal Sun. Now they're tapped out. So I'd have to use two treasures for Underrealm Lich. That's worth it. Okay. The album Michigan Left by the Arkells. Okay, I'll just check that out. I'll write that down. I have not heard of that album or band, so. Dang, yeah, definitely, cer certainly hoping, hoping to draw duress with all those, with these draws. Oh, right, we get another one with the Immortal Sun. Immortal Sun, you're great. Hmm. Let's go play Crafter. Why don't I have more black mana? Yeah, Nikia of the Old Ways is the spoiler today. Uh, 3RG55. Five five. You can't cast knock creature spells. Whenever you tap a land for mana, you add an additional color. I'm not... I'm not sure that that card is... is going to be very good, honestly. I think... So, the problem with the card, in my opinion, is... When you have lots of when you have lots of mana, what you want to be doing with that is casting non creature spells. There's not very many creature spells that you want to cast with lots of mana. All that stuff resolved. Combat, no attacks.
So they have five cards in hand currently. I, I do have I have my Playcrafter that I get to get back. If they just play another Dawnbringer here, I'm going to get back Playcrafter with Memorial of the Folly. Yeah, I think, I mean, I don't want Underrealm Lich to get Seal away, so that's why I did not attack. I'll keep Scry. The Scrys don't really matter that much, honestly, with the Immortal Sun. Or, I mean, sorry, with Thunder Realm Lich. That's what I meant to say. Hydroid Krasis is a great mana sink. That's that's true. There is a... That is true. I wasn't, you know... Cause I wasn't really considering that one as much. But that is a great mana sink as a creature. That's a good one. And that's what Under Underrealm Lich does. It finds our duresses. They counter this. I mean, they're just dead to... I guess they're not dead to Carnage Tyrant. If they have Negate. They have to have Negate Seal away out of those three cards. They did have the Seal away. They did have that seal away. If I would have attacked with Thunder Realm Lich, they would have got sealed away, and then I would not have been able to find all those sweet duresses to win the game. Yeah, enchantment hate could become popular. We'll, I mean, we'll see how how good the enchantments really are. There already is pretty good enchantment hate with just the Planeswalkers with Vivian, Teferi, stuff like that. We are at the five hour mark, streaming today. I'm streaming for five hours. Oh, hey, Jezbla. GG's. Yeah. Good games. Yeah, the, the game two was real close. I... Yeah, I feel like I could have kept, like, Binding or Duress. You know, like, I ditched both of those. But, yeah, you got you got us there. Um, Under Elm Lich was really surprisingly good for us in, in both... I mean, not, I don't know about surprisingly, but it was very good for us in both games one and three. Certainly... Certainly, probably won that, that match because of Underrealm Lich in those two games we won. But yeah, very good games, good match. The red deck. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying, yeah, Orzhov looks sweet, Rakdos looks sweet, Gruul looks sweet. Definitely gonna be trying lots of different decks, that's for sure. There we go. Okay. We have a good curve here. Branch Walker into Jade Light into Vrasa's Contempt. That's certainly a good curve. That Those last two draw steps for us, drawing Jade Light, Sun Cuddle Grove, those are two very good draws. <laughs> Simic looks sweet to no one ever. Aw, poor Simic. Simic's always needed a third color. Like, there's there's not really been, like, Simic decks that have been too successful. It's been, like, blue-green... Plus something else. Of course, my my Hedana Stompy deck is cool. Uh, Blue Green Madness was like three lifetimes ago. I forgot about that deck. That was before my time. Yeah. No, I mean, Hadana's Climb is going to be good. And, like, there'll, there'll be some stuff with Simic for that. <laughs> it's all good, O5e. You're wonderful. <clears throat> well, we're just taking one a turn. One a turn doesn't kill you too fast. Just when that one turns into be a lot more... Do I want to contempt this firebrand, or do I want to play a treasure map next turn? Thankfully, we get to do both. 
We get to contempt this. And play treasure map. Had some good draw stops there. Um, of course, after the second green, we drew third and fourth greens, which weren't as good, but the moment of craving, very good there. Oh, Simic is going to work well with, like, the, the turbo land kind of thing. Um, but that's, that's I guess, Bant. You're going to be... You're going to be banned colors with that, but that's certainly going to be a deck. I'm just never upkeep scrying, am I? Oh, well, we didn't need that upkeep scry. <clears throat> the sixth land was definitely good. We need the sixth land for the Immortal Sun. So I'm glad we got that sixth land. I'll ditch that, that thing. Contempt this. Go back to 10, get our 6th mana, Immortal Sun. So that that actually worked out really well. Because I wanted to draw the land and I didn't want the Golden Demise. So it worked out perfectly for not upkeep scrying. So see? Works out great. Now, let me get that upkeep up in there now. Well, Dawnbringer's perfect. Hmm, I guess I didn't get the upkeep stop in there. Yeah, it's certainly there. It's not quite early enough. Uh, let's play you. Why Golden Demise versus Mono... Why no Golden Demise versus Mono Red? Because we're at the point in the game where Golden Demise isn't that important. Um... It may kill some of their cre like if they draw a creature, which they would have to like they would have to draw a creature and it'd have to die to golden demise. So they'd have to draw a non chain roller creature at this point, or like not a steam cannon have two spells. It's just not what I need right now. I mean, there's a lot of other removal spells in the deck. No, I don't do best of one ranked. I'm going to be keeping Golden Demise in the deck. I'll be sideboarding in another one. It's a good card in the matchup, just not at this stage of the game. All right, so our opponent drew the fourth land, so they get Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike. All right, play on. We will... Scry bottom. Keep Carnage Tyrant. Carnage Tyrant can... Help us attack quickly and end the game quickly. So I can I can pay two life to play under Realm Lich. I don't think that's really worth it. Let's go Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, our opponent needs experimental frenzy here and then needs to go off with frenzy. Like that's that's the only way our opponent wins from here. That's a lot of red games with red, though. Need Experimental Frenzy, you need to go crazy with it. Actually, yeah, playing under Elm Lich first before drawing card. Yeah, you can have... You can have as many cards as you want. In paper, it doesn't... You can't really... It doesn't work, because in paper, you can't sufficiently randomize um you know 500 cards in in a uh in like the acceptable amount of time for shuffling so you can't so you can't have that many cards in paper but like on arena or magic online you can't so Sincry says Arena has a limit of like 250. But yeah, you can test it. Um, on Magic Online, I know. I know at one time in Standard, there was a deck that was. Gosh, how many cards? It was like over a thousand cards. Hey, what's up, Intellibeam? Thanks for resubbing for the second month in a row. Let's get some hype for that. Ninth sub of the day. Bringing the hype. Thank you so much, Intellibeam. We are one away from double digits on the day. 
But there was a deck that, like, mathematically was, like, better to play as... Um... As over a thousand cards. It was something with, with Shadow, Shadowborn Apostle. Um... Rag for life. Thank you so much. Let me see if I can let me see if I can find it. Not, I'm not finding it. All right, anyway, let's let's sideboard here. We got 50 seconds. All right, so fungal defection, and then we'll I'll get that. But thank you so much, Rag for Life. Sub number 10. We didn't get any hype boats for Rag for Life. Let's get some hype boats for Rag for Life. Let's go. Moment. Golden demise. Night of Autumn. Tristani, we're gonna cut Lich, Sun. Um Land of War Elf. That's 61. I gotta cut one more. Maybe second demise. Or settle. Nah, second demise. Actually. I don't know, just gotta cut something quickly there. Is the tie lucky? No, I just like how I look in a tie. Yeah. So, yep, thank you so much there. Both Rag for Life and Intellibeam. With those subs, we're at 10 on the day. So that means we're buying a pack. So let's let y'all vote on what set you want our pack to be from. So we're doing any of them except for Guilds of Ravnica here on Arena. Because I already have enough Guilds of Ravnica. So, yeah, this is definitely a good hand. And really like getting the White Man. I've got to get another one for that, that Dawnbringer. So you'll have 60 seconds to vote. Thanks, Nordic. All right, I think Arena needs a reset after, after this. It's, it's being kind of jumpy. So, you can either vote for M19, Dominaria, RIX for Rivals of Ixalan, or XLN for Ixalan. Um, I'm going treasure map here. I want next turn to just go Wild Growth Walker, then Branch Walker. Um, you know, try to get the... You know, I don't want to like, I don't want to just play Wild Growth Walker and then they're like, oh, I need to kill that and have Burn Spell. Be like, maybe they tap out here and we can get that done. They may just have Lightning Strike up though, also. But no, yeah, they tap out. Perfect. We can go Wild Growth Walker, then Branch Walker. Woo. Man, we have so many. So much life gain. The moment of craving. Wild Growth Walker. We're about to have Dawn Br Dawnbringer. All right. We had Rivals of Ixalan. Fire Lord. On the only vote for Ixalan. Uh. Well, is Golden Demise good? Golden Demise may not be that good. here because if I cast it it may make the wild growth walker small enough for them to be able to kill Ugh. I guess we library this but that just means I mean it's like first world problems having to 
top this. That just means no Dawnbringer. That means no Branchwalker this turn. I mean, we're also at 25. And they have six lands. Hey, they got a smelt. All right. <laughs> you think so? I, I know it's silly and totally a, an unanswerable question, but I'll I'll ask anyways. Do you think Simic is gonna get anything not total trash? <laughs> yeah, they I think they will. Like I I do think Simic is gonna be pretty good, just not maybe not necessarily creatures, but I don't know. They have like Hadana's climb is gonna be strong. Like we'll see. I think there's gonna be like Turbo Fog looks to be really good if that's your kind of deck. That's blue-green. That's your kind of deck. All right, we got a Ravels of Ixalan pack to, to crack open. We're going to do just a very quick reset of Arena, close it out, restart it. Yeah. All right, yeah, we're up to four. Whatever, main. Four and one. This has been a long stream for for two decks. Do you think Merfolk is going to be good? Doubtful. Um, I would be very surprised if Merfolk was good. But to be fair, it's not like other tribal decks are good. Also, also, like I would be basically be really surprised if any tr tribal deck is good. The amount of removal in standard that is. And just the the strength of removal, kind of makes it hard for tribal decks to be good. Because um, tribal decks aren't usually filled with creatures that gain value whenever they enter. I think for a creature deck to be good, you need like lots of things that gain value when it enters, like we see like with the green black, or something very aggressive. Uh, um, oh, oh ho lands, saying the nice tie. Thank you so much. We have so many, so many letters with that. And we got Arch of Orozka. Love that card. That card was instrumental to our Selesnya Control Lands deck earlier. Great card. Great card. Uh, all right, four and one. Final boss time. Final boss time. Are we getting the fifth win? Are we getting the second loss? What's going to happen? If you're kind of newer to the channel, I do have a YouTube channel now that you can check out, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. You can see all of the uh, replays there. It started on the 28th of December. And I, I put up the YouTube videos basically right away, like Selesnya Control Lands that we played earlier is already already up on the site. Hmm. I mean, I like Turn 2 Druid of the Cowl. But, like, these fine finalities are not doing anything. Our mana's okay. We don't have any black mana. <laughs> Thanks, Elop King. New hand. We don't really need a shock in here, right? Like, we could be playing against an aggro deck. I don't think I really need to just pay two life there. Yeah, multi bad six. It's not, not ideal. Well, while we have our removal spells, and it looks like we're playing against control deck, so this is not working out for us. Uh, good news is Ixalan's Binding is maybe our best removal spell against blue-black base deck, so... We have Moment of Craving that we can discard to a disinformation campaign. 
And then we can binding like disinformation campaign. Yeah, I guess it's possible they have Thief of Sandy. Alright, surveil the land. Oh, why can't I have one more mana and play that card? Oh man, I want to play the Immortal Sun. I want to play it. I want to play it. That card's so good. Opponent, let me play that. They would counter it anyway, so we can have treasure map get countered instead. Like, they have to have counter magic, right? If they're just never using any removal spell ever, and they're just not doing anything else, this has got to be like a counter spell, right? No? What is going on over there? Whenever I see a mortal sun in your decks, it always seems so sweet. Dude, it is so sweet. It is su such a good card. Such a good card. Um, no upkeep stop. I'm gonna just draw because I may draw the sixth mana for Immortal Sun. Well, they're sitting with seven cards. They got a full grip. Alright, we got one counter spell out of the other hand. And they're not gonna just chemistry's insight, so that's kinda good. That's a good point. Fungal infection could be two for one. I mean I could I could also moment of craving the thing, I suppose. They're using their life total as a resource. Certainly doing that. So I could use two treasures. I think it's worth it. I think a Jade Light's worth two treasures. Or not. I like the main, I really like the main deck, or the, like the main phase, Chemistry's Insight. Makes it more likely that they tap out for, and I get to land the Immortal Sun. I'd love for them to play a disinformation campaign here. Ah, no. Don't take my The Immortal Son. Dang it, they took my The Immortal Son. Boo. Now we got our sixth mana then. I'm right there with you, real. Rankler, real Rankler. Boo. Oh, we got to 10 subs. I didn't update the sub goal. We're at 10. Looking towards going towards 15. If you're enjoying the stream, consider hitting the sub button. For subbing to the channel, you get access to 19 really cool emotes that you get to use here in chat and, you know, help support me being a full-time streamer here. 
I think opponent has won this match. You mean like the game or the entire match? Our deck's going to get a lot better after sideboarding. We're going to take out all these removal spells. Okay, just the game. Yeah. It's very likely they win. All these. It's going to be hard to beat all these chemistry's insights. Well, we can still draw those. We still have three Carnage Tyrants. You know, like... Carnage Tyrant is a card that, you know, we got three of them. And if we find them... It's going to be a hard card for the opponent to beat. I don't think they're... Oh, that was a Cinder Barons. They could be playing Bolas. Slanwar has done a lot of damage. I've had opponents play three Thought Erasures, first three turns, and lose because they made my Drakes bigger for free. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, Hawkeye. Oh, he's back there. He's back there laying down. See, he's back there. That's Hawkeye right back here. That's him laying down on the couch. So he's on stream. Carnage Tyrant. Hmm. Do I like moment and binding this? I mean, Contempt. I think I do. Yeah, DD stands for Donation Deck. In pretty hard in, on the camera due to poor color contrast. Yeah, it looks a lot like the the background. Yeah, five turn, five more turns with this Landwar Elf. Our opponents back up to having a full grip of cards. Um, they have drawn just a ton of cards. We have scryed three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven spells to the bottom, eight spells to the bottom that are not Carnage Tyrant. So Branch Walker is like the only thing they get back. Feels weird. Yeah, they likely have another Eldest Reborn, right? So... I want to play this Immortal Sun here. That will cost us a treasure. I just likely have a counter spell again in those six cards. I'm just gonna play Branch Walker. We'll d still discard Moment of Craving.
I could bind Eldest. It's not a, a bad bind target. Next turn with us being able to untap with the, the, this extra treasure cove. Um, we'll be able to like have binding plus Immortal Sun. Make it a lot easier. We don't have to use all of our treasures to be able to do that. The thing is, Eldest Reborn doesn't get anything back right now. Like, I didn't make sure not to have any creatures. Like, it gets Branch Walker. That's it. So, like, right now, this thing only minus two and gets Branch Walker. Well, that's bad for us. The third discard card spell. Hoping this immortal sun works here. Because immortal sun is just going to be a better card than binding. Immortal sun stops Nicol Bolas from like doing anything on the transform. Draws us multiple cards a turn. Immortal sun is certainly going to help us win a lot more than that that one Exxon's binding is going to do. I mean, yeah, I doubt it will resolve as well, but, I mean. I could Carnage Tyrant. No, the attack first and demise if they block line. While, while it would be nice at times, this is not a time where that would be good because the the third chapter of Elder Born is about to go to to happen. So, if I went for that line right, like other times that would be good. But right now they could just do that, have Nicol Bolas die, and then be able to bring back Nicol Bolas with the Elder Born anyway. So I'll just have Overgrown Tomb and Golden Demise kind of in my hand as discard effects. Well, we don't know that they have Eldest in hand. We can kind of like, you know, presume that it's possible. But we don't know that they do. the support there. Sub number 11 on the day. Well, I can't I can't hide behind this Immortal Sun anymore. I, mean, I tried everything else I could to have them tap out. And have me be able to resolve this immortal sun. But I, I'm just going to have to play it now. Okay, so, so they've just had the counter for that too. So they've just had... They've had something for everything. We tried. Alright, so... That's the thing about, you know, control game one, we have just so many of these dead cards that we get to take out. And it gets a lot better for us. So let's have all these duresses. Um, play crafter. Not you, Wild Growth Walker. Get on back over there. Tristani, Knight of Autumn, Find Finality. Do we need the other Find Finalities?
Is fungal infection good against eldest? I don't think that's good against eldest. That's still spending an entire card for just one chapter of the Eldest Reborn. And it doesn't do anything besides that. You're having a card for a 1-1. One, one. That doesn't sound like that's a good plan. Why are we playing Underrealm Lich? It's a, it's a card that helps us rifle through our deck. Play one elf, one. We'll take out one elf and one fine finality. Yeah, we're keeping this hand, even though it's a little awkward um, with our, our land situation here. I think I'm just going to cast Duress on turn two. Like, if we don't draw land here, I think I'm just going to cast Duress on turn two. So they, they don't Thought Erasure away treasure map. Or also to see if we can take Search for Iskanta. Okay, we did draw land. So in that case, I think I just want to play treasure map. Because Thought Erasure will just take my Duress. Or if I Duress them, I'm probably taking their Thought Erasure. Like, I just want treasure map in play. I really don't need to scry during upkeep there. That wasn't really a very necessary scry. Um, disinformation campaign is certainly a card I'm more scared of than just Thought Erasure, though. So this, I would like to take Disinformation campaign. I don't want them just to be able to continually use that. So they do have Search, so Search is leaving. So we got to be able to beat Angrath. That's fine, but yes, let's get Search out of here. That's that's still a good hit. Play crafters are a little awkward. Not gonna do anything with them yet. Oh, I should pay the two life so I can scry with the treasure map. I should pay the two life there. Pay the two life. Alright, so Angrath's gonna make us discard a card also. So I just. I just keep this planes in hand to discard. And I just wanted to make sure to, um, I just wanted to make sure to get that, uh, find finality. Like, I know I cast it and I used two treasures there. Um, but I just wanted to make sure to get that out of my hand, because they play lots of discard stuff. I didn't want to just keep that in my hand, and then they discard my find finality, and then I have nothing. I just wanted to make sure to get the two cards for it, even though I used two treasures. That's very good for us. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be able to get something good. Resolve a mortal sun now.
Perfect. Is this Golgari strikes back with discard plan? Yeah, basically. <laughs> we haven't seen any white cards yet. Why not hit Ral? We're only hitting Ral for five. Doesn't kill Ral. I think it's better just to get the clock on them. They can't activate Ral. Well, now they can. They couldn't activate Ral before. <laughs> Time to choose. Always so exciting. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have Playcrafter. If this does not resolve, then we'll have another Playcrafter. If it does, then we have Jade Light Ranger. <sighs> Signs indicate that that hurt. Yeah, I'll keep it. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, dang. That makes it a lot, a lot worse for us. Yeah, that, that getting discarded certainly makes keeping binding a whole lot worse. I think I made us up keep scry that away. Get your tail out of my face. Got that land for free. Yeah, we're in trouble now. And Angrath can minus take J Light Ranger. Plus, they got five other cards in hand. That thought erasure was crucial. I, ugh. All right, come on, deck. What's up? Well. Don't tap Treasure Cove. Maybe I'll attack them for four. Um, but again, they're just going to have Angrath can kill Jade Light when it comes down. And I'm going to wait till... I think I'm still going to just wait till my turn, though, to draw. It's not a whole lot of things that we're going to want to play for three mana. I like having my hand empty against them. I so, like, we'll, we'll go ahead and... Draw on end step. Oh, I'm sorry, Sonic View Bob. Gotta play best two out of three matches. Or play the, uh. Or just do like the 500 entry fee best of ones. Oh, sorry, I missed this question. Why is such the professional get up all the time? Um. 
Is that, this is how I like to dress. I just, I like how I look in a Ever time. seen water burn? You will. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. Yeah, final boss getting us. You can still, you can do like the best of one, pay 500 gold, enter. And win gold on how you do. Something good here. So what what can Memorial the Folly get back? A Jade Light or a Plague Crafter? Oh, we have to deal with this. This has Kanta also, don't we? No, this this mode has um, it matches by record. It tries to match close by record. Um, you know, it's not always the like if you're Four and one, you're not always gonna face somebody four and one, but you're gonna face somebody close to that. Like that's you know, it does it does value time as well, so it'll get you somebody someone something close, but it's just only record. No fire, no steel. So we'll see if this resolves first before any attacking. Which it does. Get some attacking here. So they activate us cancer, they got three other mana. Do you think Hawkeye, do we think they're gonna have a sweeper? DD stands for donation deck. I kind of want to just go get Jade Light Ranger and put Jade Light Ranger into play here. I think I want to do it this turn. I don't think they're going to have a sweeper. does make it difficult for them they can't really counter and activate as like they they don't like they can't use a double blue counter on this and activate as Kanta. so they'd have to have a single blue counter uh, moment of craving that one's good certainly have not won Ascanta, we are very far behind to Ascanta currently. Well, we still have good draw steps, but we're very far behind because Ascanta is messed up. Now we're even farther behind. Alright, so they're not leaving counter magic up here. So this is the turn. The Immortal Sun, where are you at? This is the turn. Okay, okay. We get Playcrafter Branchwalker. That's good.
That's a good one. I think the question is if I want to sacrifice Druid to the Cowl or not. I should have played Branchwalker to first to see if I wanted to sacrifice Branchwalker. So, Druid. I think I sack Druid. No, we're going to have to sacrifice a creature to Elderborn anyway. We'll just sacrifice Druid next turn. No, let's get this attack for one in. Yeah, double plague's a consideration, but it's not as good as Plague Branchwalker. There we go. The Explorer is more valuable than having a Playcrafter in hand, or just, like, casting Playcrafter just to make them discard a card is not a valuable card at all. So you'd have to save, you have to save Playcrafter for them to, after they play another creature or Planeswalker, but with them having the Eldritch Reborn in, like, like, we could just have a Playcrafter in our hands, like, that wouldn't really do us any good. Oh, second Eldritch Reborn. Tough. Is there anything that's good against Eldest Reborn in my deck? Am I just looking for Carnage Tyrant? Like they get Doom Whisper and Nickel Bolas. That's good. That one's good. That one will play. Upkeep stop. This next turn is going to be real important for us. So they should get Nickel Bolas in play. They can they can transform Nickel Bolas and put Doom Whisperer um, or Ral. Or they could just minus, or they could plus. They could really do My anything with Nickel Bolas here. Boundless. So we have one more Immortal Sun in our deck. Three Carnage Tyrants still. We haven't seen a Carnage Tyrant yet. Death. Means nothing to me. Oh, they are. This is risky. If we find any removal spell for Doom Whisperer, don't we just win? Woo! Risky for the opponent. Them just putting Doom Whisperer in play instead of killing Night of Autumn. Alright, we get to scry. We get a lot of looks. At anything. Any removal spell. That's not a removal spell. That's oh, risky. They could have got Ral is it Viceroy and just killed my Knight of Autumn and had two Planeswalkers in play. Oh, come on. Just let's get a removal spell. Come on, deck. Oh, that's a removal spell. That'll do. That'll do. That will do. Let's get these Playcrafters back. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So that gets rid of Nicol Bolas. You're starting to annoy me. Dude, yeah, what a game. Final boss. Oh, this is this is just game two? We haven't even defeated the final boss yet? Oh my gosh, we've been playing this match for so long. That was only game two? Ugh. Man, final boss still isn't even defeated yet. Uh.
Ah. <sighs> okay. Alright, fine finalities have been kind of great. Meow, meow, meow. So we've seen them have a moment of craving. Blech. Let's go with this. Oh my gosh, we played so such some really long, drawn out games, some really difficult games today. Man, I'm kind of exhausted. I did get a mile in on the treadmill too before streaming, and so this is tough. We have been streaming for six hours, and we are in the second deck. <laughs> We've only played two decks today. We've been streaming for six hours. It's crazy. Play the pen. Got good mana, got got a lot of cards. Don't like mulliganing against the deck that makes us discard lots of things. Yeah, cat's name is Hawkeye. Yeah, I don't think we may not get to Golgari Agro lands. I don't think so. Is Hawkeye part a bank? Yeah, like the college mascot, not the superhero. I was born in Iowa. I moved. I moved from Iowa in uh, before sixth grade, but I was originally from Iowa. Okay, from Sioux City. Yeah, I was born in Cedar Rapids. Um, I am thanking you, Zelay. And putting hype votes in the chat. Come on, deck. Yeah, deck, don't leave me hanging on the telephone. Meow, meow, meow. You can put exclamation point decks, plural, if you want to see the Selesnia lands control brew. Um, fortunately, I think we just have to discard the Immortal Sun. Unfortunately. Because I think if they go if they go Eldritch Reborn here, kill my Carnage Tyrant, I think I need to be able to find Finality and get Carnage Tyrant back. Really unfortunate they did have an Elder Born. Really hope they don't have another one. 
But I, I definitely do not want their third chapter of Elders Reborn to take mine. Oh my gosh. Alright, they had the two. So now, if they have Negate also, like if they just had Elders Reborn, Elders Reborn, Negate, like I, that's, that's something I can't beat. Oh, at least, never mind, I got this now. That's good. That gets to take Negate. The problem is we have to discard a Carnage Tyrant. Actually, this is not even good playing this. But I guess we don't automatically lose to Negate. But I probably should have just played where I lose to Negate, because now I have to discard Carnage Tyrant to the other Eldritch Reborn. Wow, they did just have Negate also? Holy crap. Wow. Yeah, their hand is just incredible. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna win. Yeah, my opponent's thinking about how to, to, to trigger this now. They could also just like Bleak of an Eye is another just great card. They can Bleak of an Eye back there. Yeah, they're just gonna bounce their Eldritch Reborn back. Just to make me sacrifice again. Make me discard with Eldritch Reborn, make me discard with Nicol Bolas. Yeah, I'm just dead. It's a great hand for the opponent here this game three. I, I don't know if it could have been any better for what we had and what they had. So even if I kept if I kept Immortal Sun and played Immortal Sun, that was gonna get negated. So four and two. Nothing wrong with that. Elder Born is just a really good card. Very good card. All right, we got two rares: Guild Mage's Forum and Magistrate Scepter. Are these cards really rares? That's debatable. All right, four and two. You have drawn all of our six drops and having nothing to do the first five turns. That can happen. All right, Hawkeye. We went four and two. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, I definitely liked what we're how this deck uh, is improving. Uh, you know, like this is, you know, we've we've played this deck a few times now, um, and I like where we're at. I think it's just getting. I think it is getting better, and I like where we're at here. So, yeah, if you want to play Absan and Standard, you can try this one out. All right, but thanks for watching on YouTube. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Um, and watch another video.